Okay, we're at Baton Rouge in Louisiana. We're looking out from the top of the state. Of the state. Gap, 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 yeah, Capitol building. Swamp everywhere. Oh, it's all laid out. Baton Rouge took in a lot of the refugees from the Katrina. A lot of them come to live here. But largely the poorer people and the and the criminals. <laughs> they have a lot of corruption in the government. Top government level evidently. Mississippi. Constant moving of barges up and down the river. is the Louisiana House Chamber on one side and they have the same thing on the other side which is the Senate. The steps up to the, um, the state capitol building has got the names of all the states on each step. Wisconsin, 1848, California, 1850, Minnesota, 1858. Oregon, 1859. When I get to the top, they run out of room, so they jam. Well, the two states weren't here at the beginning, so they put. Where are we? Oh no, Arizona. Oh, here we go. Iowa, Hawaii, 1959. First ones haven't got dates on them, so I'm assuming they must have been the original ones. Yeah, Delaware, Georgia, Maryland, 
Massachusetts, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Virginia, there's no dates. And as you go up, ah, here's the next lot, Vermont, 1791, Kentucky, 1792, Tennessee, 1796, Ohio, 1803, and that goes progressively up. This area is just lovely. Uh, it sure ain't cultural capital anymore. It's very poor, very small little town. We just had our first sloppy joe, which I do not recommend, but the pulled pork's good. Just standing up, we're up on the top of a bluff, in the river. The town's up on the bluff, it's up really quite high. More barges. <laughs> Pedal steamers and barges all along the river. Everything's just dead flat right through. Mm -hmm. Look at it, it's just flat as flat. flat. Yes. Flat as flat. Except for this little knob that we're on. Yeah. It's just a. It's designed to target women, you know, the, for them to buy, but most. But nobody will. No, most women that buy them won't black or tan. Can you get to try and use out, can you? Oh. You, know, you don't know what you're buying, do you? So you're just going to kick you would, you, wasn't, you wouldn't come in here, though, would you? If you didn't know what, what you wanted to buy. No, but you buy. don't know, do you? you, you probably we see wouldn't. Because some places you can. You can, mm -hmm. you can shoot them before you buy them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Semi-automatic. Semi-automatic. Um, I mean, we can buy them. Come to the whole show, yeah? Right there, see over the counter. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Oh, matches. You got the gingerbread trim, and you know you've got little tiny houses. You get brick, and you name it. So you have an incredible collection of southern. Once in a while you'll see a sort of a see-through column which you drive around the town. They would do a lot of almost gingerbread trims on their columns and sometimes uh, almost have them this is all meant to split down the center. See the long sloping roof on our right, that's a Creole cottage. With Queen Anne maybe, on the right. So this would have been after the Civil War. These, that was when the Jewish merchants came in and, and had a lot of money and made a lot of money in the cotton markets. So 
we got some little shotgun houses. The idea is you shoot a gun through the front door, would go right out the back door. To, Dinah probably mentioned it to you, did she? Yeah, yeah, I wasn't, was I, I thought she would. It was just let to fall into ruin. You see it? Look at that. Okay. Clear out of the way. I'm sorry, not Melrose, Monmouth, Monmouth Plantation. Over your right shoulder and back if you haven't seen it yet. The Forks of the Road has interpretive panels, so we'll let you. where they had the auctions of the slaves and they had across the road they had all the holding pens um, and yeah and they used to sell them off just in the spot The slaving towns, wow. We'll be heading over to beautiful Stanton Hall. Here, this is where the men would go and have their cigars, this yellow brick structure on our left. We're going to take and get up close and personal with some of these gorgeous homes. We have all the different peoples who have lived here over the years. People who live in Natchez are going to love it. There's a lot to do. There's always something going on. Right now, it's called Natchez Pilgrimage. It has nothing to do with religion. There's Stanton Hall on our right. That's what you're visiting. Oh, built by a slave. Owned by an Irishman. Built in 1857. The side there. Gardens open for visitation. And then people would make a contribution to the garden club to come and visit the very cell. The two garden clubs are rival garden clubs. One garden club got furious at the other garden club because they thought they should start getting money for doing this to the homeowner and all the money shouldn't go to the garden club because it costs a lot of money to... The owners are paid when they open their houses to the public. And then if you folks would uh, gather on the front steps. What is it? Oh, uh, we think you get little ones like this in England, but they're usually green or brown. What is he? Yeah, something thing it lives on plants. It will fly. I haven't got a very good one. I can't can't do it justice. Can't. You have a go. 